So in this video, we are going to be talking about toss location. If you can learn where to locate your toss properly, you're going to be so much more efficient with serving. Hey everyone, it's Tyler from Tennis with Tyler. And once again, today we're going over the toss, where you need to place it. So I want you to think, first off, 12 o'clock is up here, six o'clock is down here. Once again, 12 o'clock is right above my head and six o'clock is right down to the ground. If you're a right-handed player, you want to toss the ball to the right. If you're a left-handed player, you want to toss the ball to the left. If you think 12 o'clock's right here, for a right-handed player, you want to get your toss at one o'clock. If you're a left-handed player, you want to get your toss at 11 o'clock. Why do you want your toss at one o'clock? I want you to think, when you're serving, I'm going to stop where I want to make contact, fully extended, look where my racket is. It's not right above my head. It's clearly not over here. It is right here at one o'clock. Too many players, they either toss the ball right over their head or they toss the ball too far out to the right that then they're coming around the ball. I wanna make sure again, my toss is at one o'clock. Now, the next thing that you wanna do is notice where is my contact? My contact is out in front of me. It's out to the right at one o'clock, but again, it's out in front of me. It's not behind. Too many players toss the ball and they're going back here. Too many players toss the ball too much forward. You need to make sure that your toss is out in front and to the right. So what I want you to do is I want you to freeze at your contact, then you're going to go all the way down and you're going to drop your racket. Now notice my racket is in front of me. That's where I want my toss to be. See, if you hit the racket, that's exactly where you want to hit. Now I lost my balls. But that's exactly where you want your toss to be. You want your toss to be out in front to the right. If I'm a left-handed player, I'm going to have my toss at 11 o'clock out in front to the left. So how do we ensure that we get our toss in the proper place? Number one, you can do the drill that I just did. You can put your racket down, give yourself a target, and just keep on working again, tossing the ball and trying to have it hit the racket. Now, when you do this, big disclaimer, you have to make sure you go up. Too many players, they'll do this drill and they'll toss the ball super low and they'll hit the racket. Well, okay, you hit the racket, but you need to make sure you get that height on that toss. Notice, if I want to locate this toss properly, I have to make sure that I keep my arm extended and up. Wherever I point my arm and I extend, the toss is going to go. You see that? If I go like this, which a lot of players do, they'll just toss up and they'll just not really keep their arm up. They'll toss back or forward or go quick. It's going to be super difficult to have a consistent toss. Again, if I want a super consistent toss, I want to keep my arm straight and my palm up towards that one o'clock. I want you to think that you have a string coming from your pocket to your tricep and you're just going up, okay? It's a tight string from here to here. I can't go here, I can't go here. Arm straight, palm up to one o'clock. Once again, arm straight, palm up to one o'clock every single time. Another drill that you can do is once you're done, you're going to, instead of hitting it, you're going to just check if it's there every single time. Again, I'm gonna just check that it's bouncing over there every single time. I wish I had a clay court right now. If you have a clay court, you can draw your circle that you want it to be. And again, just work on keeping it right there. The next drill, if you wanna get super fancy with it and you can work on timing, you're going to toss the ball up and you're going to try to throw your ball at it. This is going to help as well because if I have a toss over here and I throw the ball, it's going to miss. I wanna to toss, let's try and throw the ball, ah, I missed it by one step. But you can toss and you can throw the ball at it as well. Now that is for your flat, that is for your beginner intermediate club level serve. Now, if you want to get more of a slice, if you wanna get more slice on your serve, instead of getting it at one o'clock, if you're a right-handed player, you can get it a little bit at one and a half o'clock so you can come around the ball. If you're a left-handed player, you're going to get around 10 and a half o'clock, right? Halfway between the 10 and 11. Now, if you want a kick serve, it is different. You do want to go at 12 o'clock right above your head because for the kick serve, you're going straight up to the ball instead of coming down on top. 
So again, if I wanna hit a kick serve, I wanna get the toss a little bit closer to my head and I wanna get more 12 o'clock so I can go up to it rather than a slice serve at one and a half so I can go out to the ball and get that slice or that normal flat beginner intermediate club level player serve when I get it at one o'clock. For left-handed player, again, more 10 and a half. I'm getting that slice. 11 o'clock, I'm getting that flat beginner intermediate club serve. And again, right above my head at 12 o'clock, that is that kick. So by utilizing, keeping your arm straight, palm up, working on these different drills, knowing where to toss the ball out in front and to the right or out in front to the left if you're a left-handed player, you're gonna be so much better off have a more consistent toss and have a better serve. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to share this with a friend, save their toss, save their serve. And if you want more tips and tricks, make sure you click the link in my description for the Instantly Improve My Serve ebook. Every single tip and trick that I have for beginner, intermediate, club level players to instantly improve your serve, click that link and it'll have everything for you. Have a good one, happy hitting, and I'll see you guys next time.